Aloha Kako. We are super stoked to have with us today Farmer Tom Lowerman. Tom is coming from uh, Farmer Tom Organics. He's an American hemp farmer and entrepreneur. He's got a deep appreciation for cannabis um, and has spent a lot of time with the plant. He's put together a world-class team of marketing sales professionals and some of the finest cannabis growers in North America. Tom has uh, is known in the industry to share his insights, to share his truth, and uh, share how he conducts his farming operations. And he's really a huge help to anyone that's looking to start or expand their farming operations. And I'm personally inspired by Tom and his tenacity to never give up. This is a tough time to start a small family hemp farm. And uh, he's getting it done with an attitude of perseverance. And uh, he's really shining a light on what's possible for farmers who want to get started in hemp farming. So thank you for uh, coming on today and teasing us about your upcoming presentation on November 7th. Aloha Farmer Tom. Aloha Brian. How's it going buddy? Good, good. Thank you so much for taking some time away from, uh, well I, I guess your harvest is nearing, is drawing to a conclusion and you're in a drying curing stage now or? How's it going over there? Yeah, that's one of the that's one of the farms. Yeah, that's one of the farms we've uh, been working on this year, uh, the major one. Um, the one here in uh, Vancouver, we're still finishing up a little bit of harvesting and and drying and uh, getting our products, you know, ready for market. I see. And and so yeah, the big farm uh, we've been uh, down in um, work outside of Coos Bay, Oregon. Um, along the Coquille River Valley there, um, at an undisclosed location as we like to call it. Uh, we did 50 acres this year. Uh, my partner on, on that project, Scott Bentoncourt and uh, Cedar Ag, they've been uh, great partners in the whole process. And the greatest thing about them is they actually listen to what I, you know, they listen to the directions really well and then they followed through a lot better than most people do. So, yeah, what we're going to talk about is, uh, you know, hemp farming, small farming, and then, you know, uh, scaling up to large scale and everything you need to know about it. It's, uh, it's a challenging market out there. Um, and uh, I think you can be successful. You just got to be diligent and, and just really stay on it. And you got to, you know, what we've done, me and my wife have been in this for 25 years. We had the first collect, one of the first collective gardens in San Diego County. Uh, where we had 20 patients and uh, eventually how you the co-op went is you bought a light and then you paid $50 a month and spent a little bit of time at the garden or with the community and then you got to take whatever you want. So it was like an honor system and it was really the the true you know the true heart of, of collectives the way we envisioned it we really didn't have glass um, you know, jeweler's chest where we were selling weed that or cannabis that way or the medicine that way. We, you know, we went straight to the people and 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 work with them, and it was a great system. And we got we got did like pretty much everybody else did in the early days, and that's kind of what springed us forward. Uh, you know, we bought a farm here in uh, 04, 2004 here in Vancouver, Washington, where we've been based and we've done a lot of work over the years, uh, you know, with the state and local officials and the federal government. I was the first federally recognized organic cannabis farmer by the federal government. Um, we wrote the SOPs for the workplace health and safety standards with uh, NIOSH and the CDC. Uh, you can just go to my website, Farmer Tom Organics, and it's all there. But Scott and I will be on, you know, this uh, coming week, we're really excited about being a part of getting the knowledge out to the Hawaiians and the rest of the world. And, uh, you know, we're going to tell it like it is. So stay tuned, tune in with us next week. And we'd love to see you out there and give you a lot of good information. Thank you so much. It's, it's incredibly helpful. And, you know, I noticed something on your website, too, that uh, we managed to do here through our legislature uh, about a year ago, which was um, to help normalize cannabis through nomenclature. So just getting off of that term marijuana and using cannabis in, 
an official statement. That was something you were involved in. Is that right? Oh yeah, we never, you know, we never use the word uh, uh, marijuana. We always use the word cannabis, and especially when you're dealing with the uh, state and uh, federal officials, you know, uh, we've been using this kind of derogatory term marijuana, and a lot of people are liking and attached to it. But when you're dealing with scientists, you really want them to use the uh, the proper um, the proper words, so the rest of the world will respect them. Um, it took a little bit of time to get them to use the word cannabis. We went back and forth a little bit, and me and my daughter, and uh, eventually they agreed with us, and they used the they used for the fir first or second time they used the word uh, cannabis instead of marijuana in a federal document. So we've kind of done a lot of things up front. This really hasn't been about the money for us so much. We knew if we did the hard work and put in the effort um, that the, eventually the money comes. And so we kind of earned it. Uh, being a patient, it's kind of hard for us to make money off the plant. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm known for giving it away and have been for years and taking care of patients and, you know, but, uh, you know, I've got a, a family to take care of and, and uh, the money's coming our way and, and I've got an amazing group of people around us on all levels, which uh, looks like our success will be, we're, we're pretty excited about what's, what's happening. Looks like, you know, by the end of the month, we'll have our product lined out and out and uh, we're, we, we video documented our whole season this year. So I'm gonna put out a bunch of snippets and then uh, we're gonna put it together as a movie at the end. Uh, a lady who did the life of a cannabis farmer, a video that was put out um, in, let's see, 2015, uh, along with the, the federal visit to my farm. Um, she's done a great job and uh, we're looking forward to working with her again on this project and kind of giving everybody an update of uh, where we've come and how far we've come in uh you know the, the last five years anyways yeah it's beautiful i i really really the the common threads that run through the medical cannabis community are super inspiring and and this foundation that that you've built and others have built and that we're building together uh is absolutely uh, a great reason to get together and sort of shift away from what's been happening in 2020 everywhere and and really focus on what's what's most important and and i think that's our health care and and i i think you would agree and so we're looking forward to your presentation on november 7th if anyone wants to go and check out this uh video um or share this video with friends they can do so at hawaiicannabis.org forward slash can shift on our event page and if you want to learn more about Farmer Tom and his efforts, you can go to FarmerTomOrganics.com. And is there another way that folks um, should or that you would like for them to contact you before the event? Now, through my webpage, there's lots of ways to contact me before the event and after event. I, generally, my webpage is the best place. It's got my phone number and you know, um, I always take, I always answer my phone. That's another, another tip I give everybody. And, uh, yeah, so reach out, check out my webpage, tell me what you think and what you'd like to hear from me. Awesome, Tom. Thank you so much. Thanks for showing up, man. Yeah. Scott Benton Corden and I will be, uh, you know, telling you a little bit about what we've been doing and how the season's gone and give you some tips for the future. Awesome. Thanks, Tom. Thank you so much for being with us today. Really, really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Aloha. Aloha. Aloha.